Hi there, Wendy here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw my Draw So Cute Coconut Pineapple. So let's get started. With this drawing, we're going to first start by drawing our pineapple. So right here, I'm going to start at the top of the pineapple and I'm going to be drawing a curve down. So I'm going to come towards the center right here of the pineapple and draw a curve that comes all the way down. So I'm going to do that to the other side. So you can draw your pineapple as a fat or skinny or whatever shape you want. <laughs> so that's the fun thing about this. So I'm going to bring it all the way around and connect it. And so that's my basic pineapple shape. And so it kind of went out right here, but I'll fix that. And um, so now that we have this shape in, let's go ahead and draw the leaves that come out of the pineapple. So towards the center right here, I'm going to draw a curve. So I'm going to come out by right here and I'm going to draw a curve to the center. And then I'm going to connect it right here. So I'm just going to start building my leaves. So from this, I'm going to go up and come down. So everything's working from the center. So the next leaf is going to be about right here. And I'm going to go up and bring it down. So the next one will be on this side now. I'm going to go up. So we're just building by layer by layer and come down. So two more. So one more, you go up here, come down, and the last one and come down for our leaves. And so then now let's go in and decorate our pineapple. <laughs> so for this pineapple, I decided to give her um, a headband of uh, flowers because my coconut pineapple are having a luau. <laughs> so you have to have some flowers on your head. So come towards the center right here, just to make it easier and so more, it's more even. So you catch yourself and get into trouble with uh, too little or too many flowers. I'm just gonna draw a circle. So this is my center of my flower and I'm just going to draw five petals all the way around. So I'm just going to keep going, five. And you can come in here and uh, in the center and draw some lines for the center. And so I'm just going to go ahead and draw two on this side and two on this side. So right here, just start with a circle once again. And once again, five. One, two, three, four. So when you catch yourself, like right here with this petal, that's what makes it cool. You can just come in here because you imagine it's behind it. So it doesn't look so dead where it's just one right next to the other. So right here, once again, draw your lines in the center. And so then one more. I'm gonna draw it right here. I'm gonna put my circle right there. And I'm going to draw five petals once again. One, two. So I could have drawn these circles first. I could have drawn this curve and then the petal, I mean the flowers and gone ahead. But I wanted to show you, um, if you're using a pencil, what um, the steps that you would do. So I'm just going to go one more. So I'm imagining it behind here. I'm going to come in and one more. So I'm going to go in later and erase that line right there. And so on this side, same thing. So one circle, one, two. When you catch yourself, just imagine it. It's behind. Three, four, five, and one more. So once again, towards the edge. One, two, three, four, and five and the lines in the middle. So I got my little wreath of flowers. <laughs> and so now let's give um, this pineapple big old uh, draw so cute eyes. So right here, I'm just gonna draw two huge circles towards the bottom. And one more on the other side. And draw so cute eyes have two small circles at an angle, curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So thank you for all the requests for um, pineapples. And when I was uh, sketching out my pineapple, I figured I'm gonna draw a pineapple, I gotta draw a coconut. <laughs> 
And so that's how these crazy, weird ideas come to my head. <laughs> and I hope you guys are enjoying it. So my coconut pineapple are having a luau. So lines at the bottom. So two small circles once again. And curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So with luau's, of course, it always reminds me of Hawaii and it's the most beautiful place I went to visit there years ago. It was so nice. I wish I could go back again and I will <laughs> to have another luau. So right here, lines at the bottom. One day I will, I hope. <laughs> and so I got my two eyes in. And I'm going to give her lashes. So I'm just going to come in here and uh, draw a curve. Just two simple curves. And go back in and thicken it. Both sides. And do lashes however you like. And I'm just going to draw a little line at the top. Just to anchor my eyes. And so right here towards the center, I'm going to draw a cute little smile. Aww. <laughs> There, it's like cute. <laughs> and then, um, so I got my pineapple in. I'm not gonna draw those lines that you see on the pineapple with my Sharpie. Um, when you're coloring it, go in with either your marker or your color pencil, with whatever color, like the golden um, orange color, and just draw the stripes with your marker or color pencil. Because if I do that with a Sharpie, it's gonna look really bad. <laughs> so right here, I'm gonna draw some hands. So hands on this side because they're holding hands and having a luau. And so right here, I'm gonna draw my little chunk of pineapple. And so about right here towards center right here, I'm gonna draw a little angle line, my little baby chunk of pineapple. So right here, I'm gonna draw a straight line and I'm gonna come down once again. And right here, I'm gonna angle my line a little bit. And then I'll connect it with a curve from here. And the reason I'm doing this is so that it's very, very slight, but it's just so that my pineapple doesn't look flat. And so you just give yourself a little line right here so it looks like it has some dimension. And so from the bottom right here, I'm going to draw these leaves that come out so on both sides in the center. So it's kind of like the top of a pineapple, but it's upside down. So I'm just going to go zigzags and draw a bunch of zigzags so my little uh, skirt <laughs> and so then right here I'm giving this little chunk of pineapple really simple eyes just a curve curve and go up for the lashes and a little smile <laughs> and um, and cap it off and so this pineapple is holding hands with this little chunk right here. So I'm going to put a little hand right here and they're holding hands so right here together. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> and then right here, I'm just giving him really simple feet. So let's see about, so then I know that it's nice and level. And so now our coconut. <laughs> and so with this coconut, I'm going to draw an oval first for the top of the coconut where it's opened. And so right here, I'm going to try to draw an oval. Well, it was okay. <laughs> this part got thicker and this part's thinner, but it's okay. <laughs> and so here, I'm going to draw a curve down. And then from here, I'm going to connect it. So I'm going to connect it because that's about where I'm going to draw my um, grass skirt. So I'm just going to draw a curve to connect it. And so from here, I'm going to start to flare out both sides my grass skirt. And so when you come in here to draw the grass skirt, just come back. Imagine you're just drawing, everything is going to be at this curve. So I'm going to come in here and do a bunch of ups and downs, zigzags, however you like. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some can be sharp, some can be square, but I'm just going to do that all the way across. And so I'm just going to keep going. So some might be a little bit further apart. 
So if you're using a color pencil, it might have been much easier. You don't have to draw these uh, thick lines. You could just draw these um, just like grass all the way across him because I'm using a Sharpie. I wanted to show you. And so then at the bottom right here, you're going to imagine this coconut still at the bottom because you don't want to just um, not give him a bottom. Kind of looks weird. So I'm just going to imagine going down to about right here. I'm going to give him a little bottom and then his little leg. So right here, make sure it's about the same level. One and two. So if you end up higher, then he's just going to have longer legs. If you end up lower, just give him shorter legs. <laughs> and so now the part to decorate him at the top. So with this right here, I'm going to be drawing another oval inside. So the back part is going to be thicker. Let's see going to be wider. So notice this line right from here to here is wider and down here is going to be thinner. So Because this is towards you, you won't see it as much. So that's your goal, to make this part thinner and this part thicker. And so from here, we can decorate our coconut. And so let's see here. I'm going to draw a flower first. So towards right here, so once again, uh, I'm just showing you how you would do with a pencil because you would go in and erase all these things. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw my five petals. One, two, three, four, and five. So hopefully I can uh, erase that out pretty well <laughs> later with my <laughs> white out. And so right here I'm going to draw an umbrella. So I'm gonna um uh, my umbrella is going to be an angle. So, well, let's draw the umbrella up here first. So draw two angle lines. Imagine you're drawing a um, triangle and you're going to connect it with a bunch of little zigzags that goes all the way across. And then you're imagining this is the center. So I'm going to draw a little rectangle and I'm going to imagine it going through. So it's just coming in here. And so go in here and you can draw some thicker lines. So I'm just going to make three of them. And one more for my little umbrella. And so of course you have to have a straw. <laughs> so right here, but right here I'm going to draw a little straw that angles in. And I'm going to curve it out. So just follow the top and connect it. And right here where it bends, just draw like three little curves so it looks like it's bending. And so last but not least, let's put some uh, eyes on this guy. So because he is a coconut, <laughs> I decided to give him this cute little expression. So it's just curve and a curve out, curve and a curve out, and my cute little jelly bean mouth because he is a little bit coconut, right? <laughs> and right here, the expression. And so right here, what you want to do is, because he's a coconut, it's kind of rough, you just draw some lines like this, just to indicate that it's not smooth. And his hands right here, he's dancing, he says hands up, and let's see right there. And let's connect their hands. And thicken that part up. So now I'm gonna go in with my um, handy dandy whiteout right here. It's just a pen um, whiteout. And once again, I just like using this because it's easier for me to come in to these little areas and white out things that I don't want. So here. So if you're using a pencil, of course you would just erase it. So just wanted to show you. What you can do. And let me see what else am I missing. That's too small for me to white out. So just do that in the computer. And right here. One more. Thank goodness for the computer, right? We get to cheat. <laughs> get to fix things and erase things. <laughs> And there, my 
coconut pineapple having a little luau and dance. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get updates on more Jossa Cute videos. See you.